All right, I know I look a little dark out here, but it's not even 7.30 in the morning. I'm on vacation. I'm down in Florida. I'm in Lake Placid, Florida. Maybe you can see right over my shoulder here, the little Lake Placid tower in the background. I don't know, it's kind of dark out here, but I had a problem with my video that came out on Wednesday. The sound didn't match up with the voice. I had to delete it. I was driving to Florida. So I had to put my video that was supposed to come out this morning out on Wednesday. So now it's Friday morning. I got no video to put out. So I got to film this one real quick, edit it, get it out there for 9 a.m. for you. So stay tuned to find out what I'm drinking in this tropical paradise. Ladies and gentlemen, Brian the Beer Snob. lake house man is this awesome or what I just wish everybody wasn't asleep in there because I got some more uh, co-reviewers in there they're all sleeping I'm up earning my money look I'm gonna be reviewing this blue moon mango wheat we did get into it uh, earlier because we bought a six-pack of it I tell you I love the blue moon uh, brewers select their pumpkin what was it called um, I think they called it pumpkin pumpkin harvest best pumpkin flavored beer I ever tried in my life so I have high hopes for the uh, mango wheat because mango is the best tasting fruit there is mm. oh look at her beer for breakfast you know there's a uh, there's a beer reviewer out there on YouTube, or I believe he's from uh, Ontario, Canada. Beer for breakfast, I think, is his name. Check him out. Because I'm having a beer for breakfast right now. Cheers. Yep, it smells like mango. Absolutely smells like mango. My favorite fruit, so let's see how she tastes. Okay, I gotta say this because I did have one yesterday. And yesterday I was a little disappointed in it because um, I got no sweetness off of it whatsoever. When you think of mango, at least when I think of mango, I know there's a lot of different types of mango. This says that it's um, crafted with ripe mango. Well, um, for me, mangoes are really sweet and delicious and I love them. And I was a little disappointed with the beer I had yesterday because it wasn't sweet. You could smell the mango, but as for tasting it, I really didn't taste it. Now, I'm having this one. This one, I am detecting sweetness. Uh, yesterday, my nephew, when he had one, I asked him what he thought of it, and he said it was okay, but it was too sweet for him. And like I said, I thought that was odd because I drank one right out of the same six-pack he did. Mine was not sweet at all. Um, however, this one that I'm having is sweet. I don't think it's too sweet. It is sweet, but that smell of mango, that mango sweetness is there. I can also taste the beer. To me, this one tastes like a perfect blend of the two. Yes, I definitely like this one much better than the one I had yesterday. And that's that, that weird thing. Like I say, especially when I buy beers one at a time just to review, sometimes you get one that just doesn't taste the same as other ones. You know, they don't beer, they don't brew beer in a single batch, bottle it or can it, send it out, and then it's done. There's no more. They're continually brewing the batches, and I think sometimes there's a little deviation between the batches. Um, case in point is the the Hershey's, uh, the Yingling Hershey's Porter. Um, a lot of people tasted them and thought they were very sweet. That wasn't the, the six pack I got. The six pack I got was more of a uh, bitter chocolate. It was still delicious, just it wasn't sweet at all. So um, I think we can all agree on something that is sweet would taste sweet, but since there's two different types of reviews out there for those Hershey's porters from Yingling, some are sweet, some are not. Makes me think that there's deviation in the batches. I know they brew them in two different locations. Maybe the recipes aren't exactly the same. Maybe it depends on which one you get. Um, they're both delicious, by the way. 
get them if you can. But this, I got a mixture in this six pack that I bought. Some are sweet, some are not. The ones that aren't sweet, I didn't I didn't think it was that good. It was just okay. Nothing 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 stood out about it. This one I think does stand out. It's delicious. It's sweet. It's, it's how a mango should be. You really smell it. You really smell that mango. And maybe it's just because I'm out here on the lake. This is Lake June in winter, Lake Placid, Florida. So hopefully, I will be in town until Tuesday. Anybody else that's in Lake Placid, Florida, text me, send me a message on Facebook if you want to come be on camera. Hey, I'm buying the beer. All I ask for is some FaceTime on the, on the camera. Send me a message. Mm. Yep. Beer for breakfast. Delicious. It's almost like it should be this way, though, because it's it's mango, right? It's mango wheat, you know? It's like I'm eating uh, mangoes and, and uh, eating a bowl of Wheaties, right? I mean, I'm just drinking it instead of eating it. Let's see how much alcohol we got here. 5.4%. Blue Moon Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. Mm. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I grew up in Florida. Moved to Florida in 1977. So when I started school in third grade, everybody was a Dolphins fan because the Dolphins were all Florida had back in those days. But the Buccaneers were the new team on the scene. And Got the uh, expansion team in 75. I want to say 76 was their first season. I moved there in 77. I was the new kid in school. I'm going to follow the new team. So I became a Bucks fan starting in third grade, 1977. So I've got my classic throwback creamsicle bucko Bruce right there. Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I live up near Atlanta, Georgia now. Guess what? I still wear this. That's enemy territory up there. They don't like the Bucks because they're in the same division with the Falcons. And I don't like the Falcons. And guess what? The Bucks really slaughtered the Falcons this year. Happy about that. Tom Brady. I know one of you guys out there just mentioned his name. I'm not happy about it. I didn't want him to come down and kind of make the show all about him. Is he great? Of course he is. But the Bucks have struggled for so long that I didn't want him to come down and be the miracle that the team needed to start winning again. Yeah. But, oh, and Gronk. Man, he was in my fantasy football league for years. Gronk, he spent more time on injured than he did actually playing. So, yeah, when they both came down, I was like doubly like, eh. But you know what? I still love the Bucks. Mm. I finished my glass. I didn't get the same as signature line. Tell you what, sun's coming up over the lake. It's getting bright. I'm sure the people inside are waking up, probably wondering what I'm out here doing on the dock by myself. I may go in and have some real breakfast. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for stopping by. Brand new year. Man, I'm going to have a couple of reviews shot right here lake june in winter lake placid florida stay tuned man it's tropical paradise cheers <laughs>